in this video, our goal is to see the connection between uh, the three functions here, sine, cosine, and tangent of theta. And when I say function, I mean basically that you input some value, which is an angle in this case, and you get out some number like square root of 2 over 2 or 1 or what have you. Uh, we also want to talk about the special right triangles, those special right triangles being 30, 60, 90, and 45, 45, 90. And we also want to talk about the unit circle. So let's start with the unit circle first. A uh, unit circle is pretty much a circle centered at the origin that has radius 1. So we'll draw a quick sketch of the unit circle here. There's the y-axis, there's the x-axis, and there's our portion of the unit circle. I'm only going to focus in on quadrant 1 for now. Uh, next video we'll talk about uh, the other three quadrants. So this is the point 1, 0 because again the radius of the circle is 1. And this of course up here is the point 0, 1 because again the circle has radius zero, uh, radius 1. And then what we do is from the origin we just draw any angle we want and we call that angle theta. And then we drop a perpendicular line like this and now we have a right triangle. And what we're interested in is this coordinate here, this point right here, uh, which is just some, you know, x, y coordinate, right? So we have this distance x, and we go up this distance y. This is algebra 1 type stuff. Let's see where sine, cosine, and tangent all fit into this. Remember also that our radius is always equal to 1, and the radius in this case is the hypotenuse because it's opposite the right angle. So cosine of an angle, remember, is always defined as adjacent, in this case this length, x, over hypotenuse, which is in this case r, or 1. And we'll keep it as r for now. And sine of theta is always defined as opposite, in this case y, over hypotenuse, which is r, so y over r. And finally, tangent of an angle theta is equal to opposite over adjacent, so in other words, y over x. The really nice thing here is since the radius is equal to 1, these two fractions here just turn into x and y. So in other words, cosine of theta is exactly x. This is cosine of theta. And y is equal to sine of theta. Okay, We're going to use this now when theta is equal to 30 degrees, 60 degrees, and 45 degrees. I'm going to do that in the next video.